Right, so again, good morning everybody. Um, I am Simon Fletcher, I am from Aramaker Communications and Aramaker Communications is a copywriting company. Now, what I want to talk to you about this morning is this. How to get your copy written and how to get your marketing calls to action seen. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that there are some telltale, si telltale signs that you perhaps need our help with copy. Here is one of them. The last blog you wrote <laughs> was in Latin. <laughs> the only white paper you have is the stuff you put in the printer. Your flagship case study is about that little job you did for your grand. You think LinkedIn's a swingers club? <laughs> Your company or product brochure looks a bit like this. Remember those? And that's your keyboard. Seriously though, the reason I think that people struggle to write copy is maybe that words just aren't there. Bagag, bagag, bag. How do you spell that? So yes, spelling, expression, punctuation may be an issue for some of you. But also, I think that the real issue is that it's really labour intensive. So if I write a 600 word blog, that'll take me three to five hours to research and write. If I write a 1300 word short white paper, something like that, I've put in two days of work. Just for the copy, not for the design. A byline article where I'm writing some, some place in the press, I need to get quotes in from people, quotes in the uh, you know, that could be several days' work. Case study, once two days. Website copy, two to three hours for 600 words. So it's labour intensive stuff. And that, I think, is why people struggle with it, because they are too busy working in their business to work on their business. But this is what you've got to remember. Words might not be your bag, but words are very definitely your customer's bag. Why is that? Because 67% of the buying process, now the buyer's journey, is done digitally. What does that mean? It means that people are going online, they're looking at the content you've produced, the words you've produced, and they're making a buying decision based on that. So if you ain't got the content, not in their decision making process. Likewise, 70% of the buyer's journey is complete before they contact sales. Sales don't drive the agenda anymore. You as a salesperson for your organization, you don't drive the agenda. The agenda is driven by the customer because they decide based on what they've seen, what they've read, whether they're gonna pick up that phone to you. So again, if you're not in that process with the content that you have, then you're not in the decision making journey. So it's hardly surprising then, given that, that well over 74% of companies that were surveyed indicate that content marketing, uh, that is worse, um, is increasing their marketing team's lead quality and quantity. Of course, it is, it's bringing really business to the door. You ain't got that content. But you know what? I bang on about these words. I bang on about blogs and case studies and white papers and all sorts of other stuff. And I thought to myself, you know, some people just won't know what that is. Why? You know, they're too busy doing the stuff that they do in their business. What the hell is a, what the hell is a blog? What the hell is a case study? What does it look like? What does it feel like? So I thought I'd give you a few examples. This is a blog I wrote recently for a, a customer who needed to, to get in touch with his uh, partners and say, look, there's an issue with this piece of software. Okay? If you don't change a setting, it could be vulnerable to ransomware. So I wrote a blog, told them what the problem was, it told them what the risk was if they didn't sort it, and it told them how to sort it. And there was a series of screenshots with red arrows showing them the buttons to click on. Okay? So it was simple, it was informative, it was helpful. 
not salesy because a blog is not a sales tool in that sense. <coughs> but this enabled this guy to, co to uh, communicate with his customers that he needed to take action. White paper, what's a white paper? Well, you know, way back when a white paper was a very austere white document with no color in it, with lots of facts and figures and details. Today, white papers are kind of moving towards a more of a thought leadership paper type role where you take a position on something, could be quite controversial, and you argue it strongly and you back it up with really good facts, figures, tables, charts, graphics. And you can see we had a bit of fun with this one. Uh, this was about uh, a client who produces virtualized software systems as opposed to physical software systems. And so we had a bit of fun on the front cover with, um, with an allusion to uh, let's get physical from John, if anybody remembers that. But again, um, the important thing here is that it wasn't just the words. You know, there were architecture diagrams, there were toolkit diagrams, there was even a chart where we ran their software against the rival software and we came up with the results. So all this is part of the, of the content of the white paper. And I'll commission this and give input into it as part of the writing process. Another example, uh, this is from a local company, uh, they're in the um, water engineering business, or one of the better word, utilities, and they'd seen some research about, uh, I'm going to have to pay my quid, I think, uh, they some, see some research about um, the state of customer satisfaction in their industry, they were a bit exercised about it, off the back of some research that came out. So again, I, I wrote a white paper to promote that position, with the requisite graphs, graphics, supporting material, etc. What does a case study look like? A case study is just evidence of you having delivered great service to a customer. And there's one for every budget. This one was for a client with not a lot of budget, so it's a couple of sides. It's not very heavily designed. You know, it's an easy thing to produce. At the other end of the scale, a client with an awful lot of budget, they've got a four page fully editorialized case study, uh, original photography shot by a professional photographer. Um, and that one was also print ready. So that could be taken to somebody like Daniel. We could print that on high quality paper if you wanted a physical marketing giveaway. But it's also available electronically. And for brochures, again, at the, at the top end, this was a corporate client uh, engineering company launching a new service. Uh, very, very high end design. That was produced on paper, and the thickest paper I have ever seen. I think it cost them about 10 pounds. Um, at the other end of the scale, you know, again, local engineering company launching three different products. Those are two ciders. I wrote them. Um, they're available as PDFs. Cost them nothing apart from my time, basically, because I'm this time. But, you know, it's not always about long form copy like that. Sometimes it's about just getting your offer out there, getting your your call to action out there with a very short message to the right audience. And this is where I've become involved in working through LinkedIn. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what LinkedIn is, it is not a swingers club. Can I pay two quid and carry on? Um, it's, it's a business network online, 450 million members worldwide, 15 million of them in the UK. So that is a target rich environment. Most members on LinkedIn interact and communicate through the groups that are on there. Anybody can start a LinkedIn group, but there are some massive groups on there started by big organisations. Uh, LinkedIn HR, one, one billion members. Okay, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of members. What I have, through a software system built by an associate of mine, is access to, to those groups. So I can message your call to action, whether it's a download, a white paper, a webinar day, a physical event day, as a link. I can message that to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 recipients at a time in these LinkedIn groups. The messages go straight into the members' inboxes. So this isn't an email marketing campaign, so it comes with a lot more trust and credibility. 
And I write the messages, I get the searches built, I get the messages sent, and I will talk back to you on how many people click on what you convert the phrases. So I do all these things for a number of clients. There are some very big names there, and end clients include Oracle, IBM, local marketing agencies, the IT marketing agency, Sherpa Marketing, SMSW down in um, Surrey, and a number of other companies, uh, both locally and nationally. So, if there are three things I want you to take away from this presentation, it's that you need to get it written, you need to get it seen, and you need to get it acted on. And I can help. Thanks very much, and I'll pay you later. Thank you.